4,000 pages about a man eating a biscuit. A cosy romance between siblings, containing only a small amount of grave digging. Two men sleep in the same bed, get married, but sure, it's about a whale. Batman, but make it French. Batman, but make it French. The Jacobite War, but make it English. You swiped right on your mum? On your mum? Oh my god, the scene with the penis. The scene with the penis. Author learns that he can use a metaphor. The prequel to Driving Miss Daisy. How not to write a sentence with examples. How not to write a sentence or use punctuation with examples. How not to write a sentence or use punctuation or even letters with examples. Whose bright idea was it to swap Soma for TikTok? The Gentleman's Guide to How to Urinate in Public. This novel is disappointingly heterosexual. Botox in Victorian England. A light, upbeat novel about how to raise children in Victorian England. A light, upbeat novel about how to raise children in Victorian England. A light, upbeat novel about how to raise children in Victorian England. A light, upbeat book about how to raise children in ancient Greece. Somebody tell Brad that this book is a satire. It's a satire. A man goes out slave trading, gets shipwrecked, and finds himself on an island with just a slave. But it's all right, he's a happy slave. A Robinson Crusoe retelling with surprisingly little flatulence. Atticus Finch is racist, part one. Write me a book about World War II, but include aliens, time travel, and boobs. Teenage angst, our protagonist wants to kill himself. Teenage angst, I'd like to kill the protagonist. This book isn't even about food. Old ladies sitting together drinking tea. Dude gets lost, accidentally sleeps with a woman for 20 years, and it's her fault? Woman lives life like a man, it ends bad. Woman lives life like a man, it ends bad. Woman lives life like a man, sheep explode. Honestly, there's a scene in this book where somebody loses their job for trying to overthrow their boss in a coup. Who knew they made Clueless into a book? A precautionary tale warning of capitalism. Fan fiction for the Bible? Fan fiction for the Bible? Fan fiction for the Torah? Always look on the bright side of life. I shall tell you my story, beginning with my conception. A man kills a shopkeeper with an axe, feels guilty about it. Man is upset at losing his most valuable possession. Man bitches about his co-workers in a book. If you want a classic novel to last 500 years, include some dick and fart jokes. If you want a classic work to last 500 years, include some dick and fart jokes. If you want a classic to last 700 years, include some arse licking. Legitimately, this is a good book. You should all read it. Oh, oh, oh.